So the difference of um, survival mindset versus prosperity mindset, okay? Um, what this entails is the perception shift on the way we view reality, the way we create reality, the way we um, create our environment, which would be the the um, nonverbal, you know, it, it has to do with our inner intentions, our underlying inten- intentions behind things and why what drives us the reasoning behind it now there are some people now and i'm not saying okay what happens is is something important to understand is that once you're used to something and it's just your second nature which say if you're living in a situation like lack or not lack but you're just you have a lot that you're responsible for. Okay. So you are constantly stressed about it, right? Well, as we get older, we start to, um, our children start to get older and become adults and responsibilities start to, um, get smaller and smaller. But sometimes our mindset, if we don't take the time to integrate the new and let go of the old narration to allow in the new narration, we're still going on the old narration. We may know that it's changed. We may know. And sometimes at times, this is where we might contradict ourselves within, okay? And not be aware of it. This is when we, when our, and I'm talking about not, I'm not talking about like the, um, when we're happy, things are going good and, you know, that, but I'm talking about when we get stressed out, when there's um, any types of, any type of um, issues arise or anything hard comes around in life. life. Life has experiences that get thrown at us that's not easy all the time. And that's why foundations with people and dynamics, relationships, you know, and that is vital to have a solid core foundation and be up kept with yourself to be that, um, the best version of yourself that you can be at, at any time. That's why self-care is so important and vital because you never know when stuff is going to happen like that. And if you are not taking proper self-care of yourself. And I don't mean just phys- physically, mentally, emotionally, um, and keeping your beliefs and your thoughts and, and what's driving you where you want it to be. If, if you're not keeping up with that and actually doing the work with self-growth with yourself, uh, self, oh my goodness, self-growth and such, when you get in situations that are not um, very easy or, um, it's going to show because when we are in survival mode and we go into fight or flight, we cannot, we don't have the room within us to process outside of survival mode, outside of fight or flight, outside of feeling safe. Okay we don't feel safe in that mode. Okay. For whatever reason, there, there could be many, there's multiple, multiple, there is no one size fits all scenario in this at all. This, this is, this is an underlying thing. Okay. Not on the surface. I'm talking underlying that's, that's creating what's on the surface. Now, if things are not healed properly and that happens, this is where wounded people hurt wounded people. Okay, because if we feel like we're in survival mode, fight or flight, and this is situations that if you were healed, you wouldn't be. It's just your mindset. You, you, that has to shift still. You're not out of the old. And okay, I'm trying to think how to, I don't want to go too much into a certain aspect, but I want to be able to explain this appropriately in the best way of what I know how and what I understand. Um, Okay, so, well, with that being said, you might accidentally drop people under, or throw someone under the bus, okay? Someone who you are partnered with because you're stressed. This is where love and um, loyalty, integrity fall into play, okay? So if you're in fight or flight mode and you otherwise on the surface 
act in a certain way, but then when something comes on and you have to react below the surface, not while you are above the surface, like where you're, that's where certain things will show of what needs healed because whatever's going on under the surface in those moments reveals triggers like a mother, <laughs> like it. Yes. Those triggers, we tempt to think that, uh, we tend to think that we can control those and that we should just not behave that. But the, the thing is, is doing that, we're denying looking at it, it. It goes into addictions. When I was talking about addictions before, this is a chemical addiction. Okay. When you are not healed properly and you automatically go back into fight or flight from below the surface, that's a chemical addiction in your body. Okay. You cannot usually until you start working through the layer process, you can't just stop that um, and just switch over because your mind, that's when we say, well, I know this and you know, and I, you know, we do things that we regret out of character and such that's below the surface underlying things. Okay. Well, not get off track too much. This is all very important stuff. But, um, maybe I should just start videos without an intention of what exactly I want to talk about because when I, when I, I'm just give me, <laughs> I have to vent for a second. All of the things I'm saying is important. And clearly when I'm, um, trying to piece it all together in a way. And I mean, and I have been, I, maybe I should just go off of the things I wrote down in structures. Well, I've got lots of things I wrote down, but I guess I'm trying to learn how to structure it. Anyways, another thing. I'm not like following anybody's anything. I'm, this is part of creating your own things to understand, I guess. I'm kind of writing. I don't want a script really. That's the thing. Scripts are they're good for certain things, but when you're trying to work through real life things, we don't control life. Situate life is working through us. And so I guess this is raw um, creating certain things of trying to explain something that I have went through that I understood but I have not really um, been able to communicate it and piece it together in ways that is relatable and understandable outside of my mind in my mind whew, and in my and my intuition working together go inside go inside oh my goodness I can't okay anyways simultaneously they're working together um i like it's like in my mind i could see like the whole thing like like flashes and but trying to communicate all of that because my i can't speak or communicate as fast as the flashes in my mind of things and understanding and knowing what because there is layers and process and um if you just say something bluntly it sounds like all off the wall kind of shit. So that doesn't work either. And I would never, and the whole purpose and point is to be able to relate because clearly, clearly, um, there's a lot of people out there who I've seen and know and, and experienced witness and going through a lot of similar things that I struggled with. And obviously there's there's new ways about the world is changing. The world is changing and there's new ways to really look at things, to be able to go about things that really will change and shift lives like you wouldn't believe. And, um, but anyway, so back to what I was talking about. Thank you for listening. Um, fight or flight. So when we're in fight or flight, okay, we are not, we are not acting with integrity because we don't really need fight or flight because anything really, I mean, unless you're in serious, serious one-on-one -on -one danger where someone literally like, you know, you're in an actual, actual situation, like animal instinct is fight or flight. Okay. Well, with consciousness and such, when we have fears or we doom and gloom or we get a lot of times the stress we have 
is self-imposed or is um, somebody else is imposed, which turns into self-imposed if you know you take it on and you really got to think about that. This is why you should question everything. Question, find out what it is that is driving you, what it is that you believe, what it is underneath that, that that's running your decisions for you. It's very important. I'm going to go off on that right now. Right now. Okay. But no, back to survival. Actually, I think I'm going to start another video again. This is part two, so I think there'll be a part three. But um, basically, I, all I want to say though before I stop this video is a little intro, brief thing about it. Prosperity is knowing that things are going to be okay, that things are going to work out and it's not going to be easy. It's not taking the easy path sometimes when you're trying to create it. It's about creating the life you want, not living the life that's, that's there before you, just going with the flow. I mean, going with the flow is important about because we can't control everything, but going with the flow in the essence of putting in the work to create with the life that you want to to, to not settle and normalize where you are until you are where you want to be. That's growth. So like survival is, well, I really say you're striving in a career or um, a home or where you live. Or if you really want something more for yourself, it's okay to go after it. But you have to figure out how to do that and how to do it with what fits you. Because with our jobs and our careers and what we do for a living or, you know, what we do sometimes, you know, if what we do, we have to fit in something within ourself that reflects ourselves. We can't be constantly doing things for others and not doing things for ourselves because that turns into fight or flight because you're, it turns into resentment or, and even if it starts out not that way, it will turn into that because that's abandoning yourself. And when someone is genuinely living a life that they want or working towards it, striving towards it, they don't really have resentment and jealousy for anybody else who has what they have because their mindset knows that they'll get there and they'll be genuinely happy and they'll be genuinely like, it's like also if you want to do things for others, don't force yourself to do it out of obligation or just do it just because you feel like it's the right thing to do, but you really don't want to. That has to stop. And that does not mean that you don't do things for others. What I mean by that is you have to stop and get yourself situated and do the things when you want to do them because then there's no strings attached. Then there's no hurt feelings. Then you're not, um, hold on, the person who's backing up to move out of the parallel parking spot. And I, Ooh, it's tied fit in here. Okay, anyways, I had to back up my car so she could get up. Now, I was on a roll too. But anyways, no. um, when you are genuinely, it's about healing and getting yourself where you want to be first, filling your own cup before you fill others is where this fits in. I'm not saying, you know, don't do things for people, be totally selfish. I'm saying when you start focusing on getting yourself in touch with how you feel fulfilled within yourself that's filling your cup and then when you do something for another you genuinely want to and you don't start feeling obligated or feeling like you're losing yourself you don't abandon yourself to do that so like when you do something for somebody things will stop to where they or they will so I say sometimes they'll be like no don't don't do that for me because they may know that you might be doing it out of obligation well eventually and that would show like later if you're like, well, I did this for you and you didn't do anything for me in return. Well, that is actually selfish giving because you give expecting something in return, which is fight or flight also in a different type of it. This is a different type of it. Whereas if you are fulfilled and you're doing something for somebody, you don't need anything back. You don't expect anything back. And if they don't do something for you in return, it doesn't matter because it was free. That's doing something because you just don't need time is important. Time sh is more than money. Money is not time is not money. Money is not time. Okay. That's, that's, it's an, it is on, it is in our society, but when it really matters, it's not. And time is so important. 
because that's all we have. That, that's what our life is, is experience. Experience is time. Okay. And doing what you love to do or doing what you want to do and being authentic to yourself and you're doing things for others, even as a parent, even as a parent, our, it, it shows in it. We, and it's about integrity. Okay. That's going to go off a whole other thing here. I don't want to do that. I don't have time for that in this video. This will be an hour long. But I think I'll stop the video here now because I did get a couple things earlier. That's good. I'll make part three. All right. Thank you.